Welcome back to uh, Sonic the Sonic Mania LP. We are now in everyone's favorite new zone, fake new zone. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I was with you on favorite, but... <laughs> well, yeah, because... No, but... Oh, go on, I'm sorry. I say Press Garden, I think uh, it, it's probably the most original of the original <laughs> zones, because... <laughs> Oh, I'm, I, I take it that means Steven does not agree with that assertion? So oh, no, Steven, no, no, no. I, original, yes. F good, no. I, I hate this level. <laughs> Steven just hates news. Again, it's, it's funny. It's, it, it's, fu it's funny because we, we, we joked about this off mic about Steven getting more hate than Ted, but he won't, even though Steven has been way more fucking harsh to this game than Ted ever had. No, you know, here's the thing. I understand that the majority of people like this game, and you know what? I feel like that's a fi I feel like that in itself is a fair assessment. That you know maybe there's something that I don't see. Maybe this is a good game, and maybe I'm too cynical. I'm okay to. I am. I am available to accept that. That's not the right word, but hey, you're I'm available. ready to. Ex I'm yeah. Hi, David. <laughs> okay. um, so uh, be my roommate, and plus. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yes. So I'm I'm ready to accept that maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe maybe I'm just a cynical fuck. But I I don't fucking like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. If Stephen, if this game featured the brave little toaster, would you like it more? It'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was <laughs> that was a joke. I'm glad it brave, little, brave little toaster mania. Oh no, <laughs> drop that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone to make. I want someone to make yep. a sprite of the of the brave little toaster doing the fucking drop dash now. <laughs> I might, dude. Brave little toaster and drop dash is that's perfection. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Speaking of drop death? dash, how many people forgot that it existed? I bring, I'm raising my hand. I think on me on on my first run, I barely used it and I hated it. But the more times I play it, the more use I get out of it. I didn't hate it. I just forgot that it existed. I won't lie. It, it, it was hard. Also, did not you? No, I was gonna say it, it's hard to get used to at first, just because you have to like jump and then hold down while you're go while you land. So it's like really weird. Like I thought it would be just a simple like double tap. Hmm. I will say uh, I, there were a few times where I wish I had the um, insta shield, and I know in debug mode you can select to like either have. The drop dash or the insta shield or the uh, sonic cd super peel out my question is i mean i know i know really i know why because they, they, they wanted to keep the control scheme basic and closer to the originals but but why the fuck couldn't we just have all three like well, why couldn't we have a 2d sonic game where he has kind of a small arsenal of, of special power-ups like why couldn't he have the spin dash the the insta shield the home the the uh the super peel out, you know, the drop dash, like, you know, there, you know, Sega, uh, you know, I'm going to just let you in on a little secret now. There are enough buttons on modern day console controllers where you can do all these things and it will not be confusing. Yeah, I really did not like that about, um, about, I think the, I think the very first time that it like, that it really stuck in my head that, you know, maybe you should map more of these buttons was the bounce bracelet. Oh, on SA2, yeah, yeah. It, because, because you also use the B button to do the light speed dash. And that, sometimes you accidentally bounce bracelet and you fucking die. SA2's control scheme is pretty horrendous, but we'll, we'll save that for another day. So, you know, again, Sky and David, the more retro fans, I mean, I just would got you... just shoved off, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've had your minute in the sun, Stephen, shut up. We're talking about this uh, SA2 <laughs> bullshit. What do you think is this? Steve... <laughs> David, um, <laughs> David, David, and Skyden, like, if if you were, see, if you did, couldn't, you couldn't use that fucking spring thing like you were supposed to. You had to get a friend to help you. <laughs> the spring, the spring thing sucks, and this level sucks. Get good. Thank God, tell, <laughs> thank God, tell just here. But I mean, so so Sky, if would you would you have felt like it wasn't as as classic as it's trying to be? Would you have felt betrayed if they would have given Sonic like all these different mappable moves? Um, or would you have cared? That would have been cool. I don't really care either way. Um, I know you guys were mentioning forgetting the drop dash earlier. I was gonna say, I went back to Three and Knuckles recently. It's hard to play that one without the drop dash now. It's really weird. <laughs> but I mean, if we had all three moves, the drop dash, peel out, insta shield, that would've been cool. Sonic Mania 2, baby! Yeah, come on, insta shield. Where the fuck is that? Come on. 
I really don't like that the moves are locked behind the no save mode. Yep. Same. It's it's like oh you if you want to if you want to play all these different like cool like moves like with the different three and K or the end knuckles mode it's like nope you have to do it all in one go and you can't save. Which I I'm, I'm not sure why they did that because on Sonic CD they they let you switch between the Sonic CD spin dash and the kind of more regular Sonic Two spin dash at will. So I, I'm not sure why those moves were. I mean maybe that was a Sega mandate, but again if there's a sequel you know, give us multiple different moves, please. I think that that'd be more fun. It feels like it was a time thing. Like, they didn't have enough time to implement a save feature with that. And just had enough time to add the moves in general. Maybe. This boss, this boss just reminds me of, um, kind of unlike Act 1's act boss. Oh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah well... Except you do actually hit this one. Yeah, but like I Punch said earlier, you can't wail on it. A little bit. You just did. <laughs> I just knocked out half its health in one goal, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, you just need to have a yeah, whale Yeah, but you can't tail. like say the chemical plant boss in Sonic 2, you can't just jump on top of it eight times. You have to have some strategy. Right, you gotta you got make him go, ow, oh, my hand. <laughs> 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 oh, look, he exploded, and he, he made it snow. Man, so... that pedal animation is so pretty. I know, Steve, I was going to say, you may hate this stage, but this transition and Act 2 looks so beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. I, you know what? No, I already said I already said before, visually, this game is amazing. It's great. It's good. It's good. It's great. It's great. It's good. It's good. You know, it's, it's a good game. You know what? I'm wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Turn out ten, baby. Well, you know, because because now take these drugs. Right even, <laughs> now, now I I do I do love this game. This game makes me excited in ways that's not family friendly. I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that funny, but it was. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Like, haha, family! Wait, no. Um, Wait. <laughs> okay, can I, can I, what, else, what are you going to talk about? Because I have mechanics to talk about here, Mr. David T. Lurker. Ooh, mechanics? Uh, you, you can talk about some mechanics. Um, how about Mr. Mio how about Mr. Uh, Miyoto? You were going to say Miyamoto. <laughs> Shigoyo Miyamoto. Miyamoto, creator of Sonic the Hayhog. No, no, I, I, no, I want to talk about Miyamoto, not, not the other one. They're all, they all look the same to me, Miwa, well, that's right, I said it. <laughs> Mew oh. Um, uh, yeah, so, Mia Miyamoto, Miyamoto has a, Miyamoto has a philosophy with his design, and he fucking, he mastered it in Mario 1, and you've probably seen a million video essays on YouTube about this already, but they introduced a mechanic, uh, good job, they introduced a mechanic... Uh, in a safe scenario so that you learn what the mechanic is and then they introduce it in a not safe scenario so that way if you fuck up it's your fault because what okay uh -oh. because we already because you already know what to do about it okay right there that was way too fast to teach you something the game actually taught you something right there some ice blocks you cannot penetrate unless you yourself are frozen into an ice block and later in this level there will be a part where there's some impenetrable ice blocks and you might not have caught on by this point that you have to yourself be an ice block to destroy those and i spent a good like 15 minutes i got i got a time over trying to figure out what the fuck i was supposed to do and it's like come on dude miyamoto oh. mastered this in 1986 learn how to Five. teach people with level design and okay i'm done good <laughs> but you know, you know I, I i agree there are a few moments like that which is like they kind of they kind of throw things at you a bit ironically a bit too fast. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Speaking of time overs, how about a lot of these levels taking uh, maybe just a tad bit too long? Some of I mean like the the only level the only uh, time I came close to time over in was in a uh, Titanic Monarch 2. If the fact that the the Eggman boss in that game did not reset the um, the timer, I would have timed over there. Because I, I got to him the first time at about nine minutes. Yeah, same here. It, it just, it, it bugs me a little bit that uh, 
the the whole thing about this game is that they're like, look how many alternate pathways you have. Look how big these levels are that you can explore. And then they go like, oh, but you took too long, so you get no time <laughs> bonus. So it's kind of like weird that the game penalizes you for something that it wants you to do. Well, you still want to go fast, right? <laughs> well, Skylar, here's a whole fucking discussion with that you and I will always disagree on. You too, David. You disagree with me about this too. Oh, heck. This boss is amazing. One, this boss is fantastic. I love oh, man, it. Shinobi. I'm oh, sorry. Continue. Shinobi. No, 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 no. Steven, Let's talk about the boss because he's on screen. He is. I love the fact that he, he's a ninja. Uh, you know what I love about this boss? He directly does not hurt you. The only thing he'll, does, he'll do is is put you in an ice block. But I love the fact that he throws asteroids like ninja stars. But you, you can actually use, the, if there's if there's too many asteroids on screen, you can actually get hit, purposely get hit by him to protect Protect yourself from the astrons. I think th uh, this is probably the most ingenious and most fun of the hardwood heavy fights, and I'm a big, big fan of it. I think it's great. I feel so at home. You feel so at home? Because me was used to everyone trying to stab him with samurai swords. Miwa, are you currently frozen in an ice block? <laughs> Do you need us to help you? <laughs> <laughs> Just get a flame shield, you'll be all right. No, there's nothing, nothing to apologize. I've already, I've, I, this, this whole LB has been nothing but me, but ranting. So you know, what, what do the people want? Me ranting again? No, but here, Steven, here it's, we go. It's your favorite cool level. Cave. It's your favorite fucking level in the game. I love Eggman's cave. Oh, well, see, look, there's a transition you get because there's a little planet. He's like, oh yeah, Metal Sonic. I sent him there. He warps you. See, he warped you to. Start a speedway, which means he's using this phantom ruby did he, to get to places. Did he, did he warp you in space, or did he also warp you in time? Well, yeah, I was about to say, is he warping us? Yeah, well, just we're, cl we're clearly in the we're That's clearly the in the past. This is clearly based on Star Speedway past. So he must have warped us through time and space. But in the, uh, but by the way, that wasn't time travel. The pizzas were just sitting there, so I took them. <laughs> <laughs> So when so when he warped us the Green Hill and Chemical Plant were those in the past as well? I'm I'm in, I'm inclined to say no, but this is clearly going. This is clearly us in the past. But um, Stephen, before before we fought Shinobi, but you were talking about something you always disagree with Skyler and, and David on is what? Oh, the the whole fact that they think uh -huh. that they think that speed is a reward with Sonic games, and I. Even if that were true, I fucking disagree with it. It's like, it's like if, it's like, it's like if God, okay, God says, hey, here are all the things that are pleasurable, but if you do them, I'll send you to hell. It's like, well, then why the fuck did you make them pleasurable? <laughs> Speed is fun. Stop making, <laughs> stop punishing me for going fast. Well, it's not my okay, fault that you're mad at God for making Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> that's the that's the that's also everything Steven says to the police when he gets pulled over. Well, it's, like, it's illegal to go fast. Don't make me do it. Well, it's like, it's like, it's like, hey, dad, dad, what, dad, hi, dad, what's, what's, <laughs> I'm going to talk about my dad again. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, dad, what's, what's my reward for mowing the lawn? Uh, not getting hit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh. That, that's a weird reward system you had growing up, but uh, okay. <laughs> maybe if maybe if the point of Sonic is to go fast, uh -huh. don't fucking punish me for going fast, goddamn. Well, it, it, it's the game. It's not saying oh never go fast. It's more here are these law like here. Yeah, these... you can only go fast if you're good at the game. That's you, David. <laughs> Be my roommate. Well, I mean, isn't isn't that also kind of like Mario? It's like, Mario, it's like, no, you bring up Mario. He all he fucking does is jump. No, Mar <laughs> Mario has like, two buttons. God, no, jumping is a reward. Don't fucking jump unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> no, but I love how I love how Stephen sounds Canadian when he gets annoyed this way. Okay, no, well, okay, with 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 the. With the original Mario, there there are two buttons on the NES controller. One is jump, and the other is run. But if you're not good at Mario, and you're trying to run everywhere, you will die a lot. But when you've gotten better with the game, then you can run as much as you want. A little bit a little bit. Except, slug, except a little when bit there practice. are points where running actually helps, like all those tiny little gaps. 
Well, in in Mar in Mario, the level the levels are designed in Mario so that speed is supposed to be a reward. Yeah, but also David well, David Mario's gimmick isn't that he runs fast. Yeah, he's, thank you. His gimmick is he's Italian. I know. If <laughs> if Sonic's gimmick wasn't the fact that he's the world's fastest hedgehog, this you know the the speed could totally be a reward in that case. Also, this boss is terrible. But the fact that he's built as he's, he's built as you go fast hashtag blast processing. Speed should not be. A, I, I agree with Steven. Speed should not be a reward. It it is one of the most basic mechanics of the fucking series. Okay, before I quote the online manual of the game, this transition is awesome. I know. Thank you, Sky. This. Oh, so Sky, I want to say, is there is there an achievement? Because they have they have all of the um oh, kind of uh, robot robot things from um CD. Um, is there like an achievement for getting all of them? Like, are there a set amounts in Act One? Um. Uh, Sorry, I was gushing over the intro. What'd you say? The transition. What'd you I'm say? saying the yeah. No, I'm saying the the, uh, the act one uh, has a handful of the kind of robot that you generators. Is there an, is there a set amount? Is there an achievement for getting them? Uh, there's no achievement now. Then what's the fucking point? Well, they have the little beanstalk things that you can climb on the leaves for. This game has no platinum trophy achievement, so why the fuck should I even play this game? Uh, <laughs> but going back to the whatever that was a couple minutes ago. Steven's mental breakdown. <laughs> going back yeah, going back to Steven's dad. Hey, uh, hello, hello, my child. Uh, question what everyone says. What if I question you, dad? Well, then you're fucking grounded. Peace. Oh. Don't know what. Steven, oh, action games are face. like sports. The more you practice, the better you'll get at them. <laughs> well, if I wanted to play soccer, I'd play soccer, you piece of shit. You mean football? Uh, but I mean, it's, it's not. It's, it, if you're, if you're bad. No, 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 David, you're right. David, you, hold on. You're right about if you are better, then you will play better and you'll have a better time. Yes, but don't include that with the main gimmick. <laughs> Of the fucking game! Oh, here's the here's the thing. No, if if you're if you're not if you're not great at Sonic, you can still run. You'll get hit more, but then that's also why the rings exist, so that you can run into things and be like, oh man, I missed this jump. I missed this thing. I hit some spikes. But the rings make things easier because you don't die in one hit. Right. Because if it was like Mario, where you have at most, like in the original Mario, you mm, have two hits. It sounds at most. like when someone makes a level too difficult and they put a bunch of lives everywhere. Ah, it's one of my, it's one of my favorite bosses in the game, Steven, You're wrong. Oh man, I love this boss. I love it. I love this boss, man. This boss, this boss is great. I also love the remix. Uh, the mm. song. Oh, heck, everything about this boss is great. I mean, because look, you got oh, you heck. got Metal Sonic, Metal Sonic, who's the one of the coolest, if not the coolest characters in the entire franchise. Agree. He's zooming around, look at him go. He's like, hey, Sonic, remember that time we had a race and that race was kind of boring because all we did was run and I ran into a wall and my face fell off because I'm apparently made out of low quality parts. Yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah, does this <laughs> like does this happen before Sonic defeated Metal Sonic? No, this um. Cause look, look, there's Metal Sonic in. Oh no, there's a. Oh, Remember Chaotix? Chaotix. I hate this boss. I, this boss. I love this boss. boss so Is this much. Silver Sonic from Sonic, Sonic 2 on the Game Gear? <laughs> You're doing it wrong. It's the Sonic 2 on the Game Gear. You failed yeah. twice. Uh, let's see. There you go. Yeah. No, but what's neat about this boss? You see how there's two tubes? There's a tube on each side. They have Metal Sonics in those tubes. That doesn't make the boss good. It's an aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's talking about that. He's asking. What are the origins of those two metal songs? Right, because because I think one of those is the one you fought in CD, and the other one could possibly be from Chaotix. Or oh, Generations. No, because Generations doesn't count. That's, that doesn't take place. No. So is, so is that shard? Because, because, Shut the fuck because up, Generations Stephen. takes place outside of time and space because the timeline has been dismantled and they have to reassemble it. That's why they have a level from Sonic 06 in there. Yeah, because... It, 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 yeah. But no, because because those those tubes imply, oh man, Sonic's fought and defeated Metal Sonic at least twice. And those empty-eyed metal metallic. Do you like this boss fight, David? Yes! Look at him go! He's Metal Sonic! Do you do you like the fucking inconsistency of where at first it's like, hey, no matter what you do, you can't hit Metal Sonic in these running areas, and then all of a sudden, now you can hit him! <laughs> yeah. Why? It's because he landed. <laughs> 
Because he landed. <laughs> well, you see, Stephen, because now he's playing fair. If, yeah. The one thing that I would have altered is that when he does land, you should be able to hit him from that moment. No, it doesn't! <laughs> no, because he he's flying right now! And you still hit him! He's, he's flying and he hit him! <laughs> but he's still close to the ground before he's zooming back and forth diagonally all across the screen. It doesn't matter how close he is to the ground, David. If you are overlapping an object in a 2D platformer, you fucking hit it! And if a game says that doesn't work, and that means it never works. It can never be yes and no. <laughs> no! I love how the wall has rubber band AI. Oh, look, he died. Oh my god, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, it gets less than a 5 than 10. It gets less than a 5 than... It gets, it's, it's a fucking 4. It's a 4 out of 10. Everyone, everyone who liked that boss fight, say yes. 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 I fucking hate all of you. <laughs> Miwa, Mi Miwa, say yes. No, don't do it, Miwa. That, Thank th you. that just that just sounded like gibberish. I'm gonna count that as a yes. Steven, you're wrong. Everyone <laughs> in this school liked it except you. That's racist. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Wait, how is Metal Sonic racist? <laughs> no, we're si we're si Join us in part four. Did you just say how is Metal Sonic racist? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you know how we said we weren't gonna top last LP. I think we topped it. Yeah, you're right. We're not again. I mean, if you want to go play Chaotix again, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, everyone. <laughs>